how's everyone doing today? Uh, today we're out. Uh, this is the last load of feed for the day. I haven't showed any, uh, or very much of supplementing the cows. We just moved a bunch of cows over to a group of corn stalks. And uh, we're getting close enough to calving that we feel they need a little protein. So instead of going out and buying protein tubs, we're, we're using distillers and then using silage as a carrier for the distillers. We're not going to feed them every day. It's going to be like every third or fourth day. We're going to feed them a little protein mix. Um, and yeah, we got, I don't remember what this load is, but I think it's, I think it's like a ton of, ton of distillers and then basically just finished filling the wagon with silage and then that way we, that way we had enough, uh, enough for all the cows to get their protein and a little easier to string it out for as many cows as is over there um, with a little more volume but anyhow we will check you guys out when we get over there. Uh, it's a bit breezy out but here we're on a half section of ground most of it just surrounded by electric fence, single electric wire. Put down the old fence so I can drive across it. You can see at least the cows aren't running towards the feed, so we know they're not hungry, but because I said they're lacking a little protein out here now with how currently close close to the market calving, so hopefully most of them are gonna calve here starting a month in the first month but got the bigger tractor on the wagon now and a little one decided it needed to go to the shop that tractor's got 14 or 15 thousand hours on that 5250 so it's a it's been a pretty good tractor for what we've done with it it was a main loader tractor until we got our first payloader so um, I'm gonna get this iPad going you can see we're gonna go to delivery kind of find the weight 13,000 in this wagon now better unlock it I'm not, you know, some of these old girls would be fine without having anything, but some of them need a little help, so this is probably the best compromise between just bringing them home and feeding them compared to just, uh, I'm just kind of, my intentions are I'm going to start feeding and just angle across this. Oh, I guess i got to turn the PTO on. Man, that window's dirty. See, we just make little dashes or whatever. We try not to uh, just make a single pile because then they start fighting over it. But we try not to make a single line because then they also don't... Uh, they don't... Uh, have a place to walk without walking through the feed so the reason I'm doing the angle I'm kind of angling towards them cows that are further away kind of wanting all the cows to get an opportunity to have something to eat without fighting and uh, this piece of ground see there's a little spot of kosher where the corn grounded out it was really wet last spring and it got planted really late A lot of cows out here. We're not even feeding them close how much pounds they actually need to survive. You know, we're basically just feeding them just enough. We're just using the silage as a carrier for that distiller's product. It's a modified distiller, which is what we're currently using. As you can see, the numbers 
are going down. And I know the, the scale shows that we have way more in there than what we needed, but we just, uh, with this performance beef program, I just, we told Dad just a more silage would fit while we're making the trip. We would go just a little more silage in there. So that's what he did. He put a extra scoop or two of silage in, or half a scoop or whatever. That's why the, we got an extra 3,000 pounds or 2,000 pounds of silage in. But it'll all keep track of it, the old performance beef app will, so. They're still a coming. Those beef cows have been pretty happy out here. I think we moved them out. Uh, we moved the cows out here about four days ago, maybe. This is the last half section of stocks they'll be on. This actually, this quarter is corn, and that corner is uh, soybean stubble with a grass crick in it, and the grass building site, and some trees and stuff. But they get to run on the whole half section. It's surprising how much time they do spend out on soybean stubble. You can see it's beeping at me because I'm getting close to what they're supposed to get. What I had actually in the computer. But, um, it's just going to beep until I get the wagon empty at this point because it's going to show that I overfed them, which is fine because that was kind of the intention of doing what I did here. I just give them enough feed and I'm, I'm glad I had that extra carrier in because I'm not as far across as I thought I should be. But this stuff's pretty wet so it comes out pretty good. But. I'll kind of when when we're on our way out, I'll I'll show you guys some more more video of the of the cows on the way back out. All right, now we're headed back. This got turned around. There's a little heifer right there. She probably needs more. There's a heifer that needs a little bit more. Another heifer. Uh, for the most part, I mean, the cows are actually looking pretty good. They haven't been fed a whole lot. They were in two different groups, um, but we had all these girls preg checked, and we decided to mix them, mix them up all together, so we only had one tank to worry about, uh, one electric fence to worry about, one group to feed, um, and I think it's the right choice. Right before we start calving here, it's nice for all the cows to get used to each other so they're not fighting in the, when they get locked up in a little tighter pen. It looks like that was about the right amount of feed to get it all strung out. I'm going to stop at one of these piles and kind of show you guys what it looks like. You need an ear take, girl. This is silage. I can't see any of the distillers, but it's in there. Let me fetch ya. No, not quite. Alright, well, this will be the end of that video. And as you can see, the cows are strung from there. Way down there. So, everyone enjoyed?